So did you hear the news? I put out a book called Table Time Massage. Uh, actually, it was last Friday, and within three days, it hit number one new release in both the massage categories and the acupuncture and acupressure categories on Amazon. I'm super stoked about it, and I want to show you one of my absolute favorites that's in the book, and it is called the Nataraj, and it is a stretch that you can give on a massage table. You can actually also do this one on a mat, on the ground, or on a bed as you like and it targets and it's all about helping to open up and release tension and release fascia in the leg in the hip in the lower back and i'm also super inspired one of the reasons it's my favorite move or one of my favorite moves is because i've just seen dramatic results and you can actually see results like right away when you first put some put someone in this move where their leg where their flexibility, where their openness is when you start versus when you finish and, and when you take your time and you give it in just like this real gradual way, the, the effects and the results are really dramatic. And, and you know, I've been putting it to the test because I have a client that I've been seeing for the last six months now. In fact, he came to me because he's trying to avoid a hip replacement surgery. A hip replacement surgery. He's incredibly tight, not only in his hip, but in his adductor muscles, in his lower back, in his leg. It's been causing him all kinds of problems, all kinds of pain, really for years until it finally got to the point where he's being uh, advised to get a hip replacement for his leg. And he is really dead set against it. He wants to take a holistic approach and he's doing all kinds of great things for himself and one of them has been coming to see me for time massage every week and it is it is amazing to see the response and the changes in his body in these last few months enough so that he actually put the surgery on hold for at least another six months but in all likelihood you know hopefully all things go well he's not going to do that surgery at all and you know, I don't want to advise people not to get surgery. It, every case is unique. Every case is different. But I knew, I do know what's been going on for this person. And, you know, of course, I am just so delighted that I could have any kind of role and really any kind of support to help him. And it, it blows me away to see that when you take, uh, when you use time massage, when you use everyday practices, how you can really have this dramatic effect to change your body. And this move really does. It affects, as I mentioned, your hip, but your lower back and your legs kind of all together. It's important to know how cool that is or how important that is because it really, if you have back issues, if you have hip issues, if you have leg issues, you know, it's, you should know that it's all part of a chain and you don't want to just focus in on the one link in the chain. Of course you do, you're going to get some relief there and and just get rid of tension and help the body up. But when you can affect and do things for all the different links in the chain, then you can have much bigger results. And this move is kind of like an all-in-one that does such a wonderful job to get into all of those places. So that's why I'm super stoked and super excited to show this one to you right now. Just before I do that, I do want to mention again with my book, Table Time Massage, I'm going to post a link down below and up above. You can see this move and, you know, as the title says, three hours worth of techniques all for giving time massage on a table. So I do hope that you check it out. The price is never going to be better than it is right now when you're watching this video. So please do. And if you have any questions or comments about it, post them below and I'm here to answer them. All right, let's check out this teaching video and then join me on the other end because there are a couple extra things that I want to talk about. You're going to take this leg for a walk. All right, so I like to straighten it out. Oh, my other foot. So I'm going to bring it back to the middle and then start to bring this leg across the body. Okay, little thing to be aware of. When people have had hip replacements, we don't bring the leg across the body. But otherwise, even when someone's really tight or really stiff, bringing it across the body might look like this. I, I, I don't take myself across the body. This might be as far as I go. All right. But when the leg will go across the body, you're going to take it. It doesn't really matter. As far across the body as you can, you stop as soon as you feel some resistance. Now, Karen is a super flexy person. So her point of resistance is like out to here. But in many cases, it'll be let's say around here, okay? Wherever you feel it, 
if you can, have a seat. Whenever I bend my arm, a rule that I always keep is keep it next to my body. So one hand is going to be bent and hold the heel next to your body. And then that's going to free up your other hand to massage along the outside of the leg. We'll start at fascial depth. And then what always happens is people's legs start to release. So I start to push with this hand. And you see how my elbow left my body? That means shot closer. All right, so that I keep it in close. And I can start to use my back leg to even push off a little bit. But I really like to sit if I can. It just makes it <laughs> even more comfortable for me. Okay, so in Karen's case, we can see she's just going and going. So I can keep, at any point, I can stop, I can press, and I can stretch. Do you use your forms? I do, but I'm not going to use them right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to start with this version. You might have heard at the very end of that teaching video, someone asked me if I use my forearm to give, uh, when I'm giving the Nataraj, and I said, you know, almost like off to the side, sure, I do but I wasn't going to show it now. So it's true that I'm not showing that because when you first start off, I just want you to stick with the basics of what I show in that video. But it, what it did get me to think about, so here is the move in, as I've described it in the book. Okay, so here's Nataraj and it starts right here. And as you can tell, I definitely take the time with pictures, with big pictures. It's laid out one, two, uh, three pictures to describe how you do it, the transitions and the techniques. So step by step, how you're going to do this move. But something that I do with every description that's in this book is also to have a whole other range of content all about tips and precautions and things to think about to customize the move, things to think about to help it make, to help make it more comfortable for the receiver and little tweaks that you can give for the receiver and at the same time how to make it more comfortable and how to make it even better for you the giver so that is described in detail things like using your forearm or when to use your forearm for that person so you know if we want to talk about the forearm for just a moment a forearm is a pretty uh, bony you know especially with the bone that's right here uh, part of your body and their outer leg, their femur bone is a pretty bony thing too. So it's really not going to always make sense to use your forearm where you have kind of like a bone on bone kind of situation versus just simply sticking with the palming, the soft fist and kind of rubbing and things like that. But there may be times when someone likes deeper pressure or it just feels like there's like a sweet spot and the way your specific forearm fits in with another person's leg just feels like absolute heaven. So if you get an intuition in that moment that says, well, it makes sense to use my forearm and I'm going to ease in with it and I'm going to check in perhaps with my partner to see how that's feeling, then sure, that's when you should do it. And even if it's not written in the book, it, the first thing is to listen to your intuition and combine that with just good, solid communication. So whenever you're in doubt, any of these techniques, just do it that way. Check in with your partner at a place, at a depth, at an amount of pressure that is lighter than what you think they're ideal deepest version of the of the move is and then just gradually kind of take your time and all of that is actually described in detail in another video that i'm posting down below and up above it's all about the secrets to giving a great massage and if you have any questions i want to hear from you so please post your comments, post your questions below, and then keep checking out this channel on the playlist and on the various videos so you can keep learning all different kinds of ways to give time massage, whether it be on the table or on the mat. And if you want to keep learning and go even deeper, then come find me at stilllightcenter.com. That's my school. And we teach classes all over North America. And just for signing up for the mailing list, I will share with you an entire shoulder massage that you can get started and learning right away. And if again, if you want to get my book, Table Time Massage, the link is down below. You can get over to head over to Amazon right now to get the Kindle version. And as of March 26th, the paperback version will be there as well. I want to thank you so much. I want to wish you some amazing massages and we'll talk to you soon. Namaste.